Turning to today's Earth 8 report, this morning new video shown by a remote operated vehicle is giving us a never before seen glimpse of our oceans at twilight and it could give us valuable information on the implications of climate change. It's a view humans rarely get to see. About 100 meters below the ocean surface, a whole different world booming with life and now in stunning clarity. I can't tell you how thrilling those moments are because remember, we don't get that in real time, okay? You know, we don't, we don't know up on the ship, you know, that Mesobot doesn't send us a text message and say, hey, I think I saw a shark. Dr. Dana Yerger is a senior scientist at the Woods Hole Oceanographic Institution and has been working to uncover what video like this can tell us about our ocean. Literally, we can do biodiversity surveys. We can, you know, ask basic questions of who's around, okay? And we can ask those questions in a number of different ways, starting with, let's go look around. The remote operated vehicle called Mesobot helps paint a more complete picture of the delicate balance of ocean life, including its inhabitants. At first, you know, I was talking with our, our media relations people and they were like, oh, we found these, we got these pictures of rare animals. I said, no, 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 no. These animals are not rare. We rarely get to see them. Okay, that's the point. These are in fact the most numerous abundant animals on the face of the earth. It can also help us understand the carbon cycle responsible for moving CO2 from the atmosphere to the deep ocean and what that could mean for the future of our climate. They're carrying that carbon deep in the ocean. Okay, they're essentially removing it, which, which from the point of view of regulating the CO2 in the atmosphere is, um, is an important thing. But there is still a lot more to learn and many more explorations to do. Scientists say while explorations like this show how far technology is progressing, we're still barely scratching the surface. All of those ways of, of looking at the ocean are valuable, but on their own incomplete. The, the power of what we do comes when we take all of those observations and we combine them. So we look at the visual images, we look at the sonar, we look at the physical oceanographic measurements, we, we look at the eDNA, the environmental DNA, and we try to link all that together so we can make a, a, a more complete picture of what's going on in the ocean. With future expeditions from Mesobot, more info can be gathered and ideally help in making decisions about how to make the world better for both us and marine life. My focus is on uh, you know, working with a small group of scientists and, and really advancing our knowledge of, of, of what's going on in this. I, it's the biggest living space on the planet. I think I, I, I shouldn't need to justify why we, we need to know more about it. Wow, pretty impressive it stuff was so happening way down there. Down there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and the fact that it almost resembles outer space. Yes, yes. right? Like, it's just kind of amazing to think that way. Well, and, <laughs> and we know more about outer space than we yeah. do about the deep ocean, right? right? So it's fascinating to see. Like he said, I thought the most incredible part of it was you see these videos and you go, oh, wow, like, I guess there are these rare animals down there. And he's like, these are not rare. It's we just rarely get to see them. It's rare to us. Yeah, yeah. exactly. It's hard for us to access. And mm -hmm. they've been around way longer than any of us. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. yeah. So incredible work that they're Pretty doing. Cool. They're going to keep doing it and ideally be able to put together this kind of more complete picture of what our oceans right. are doing cool. and how carbon, of course, yeah. uh, affects yeah. it. Because if our we can on it. kind yeah. of sequester that carbon Clean in the our deep air, ocean, yeah. that can be a good thing. But mm -hmm. then it has implications for the ocean, too. Right. You know, the acidity of the ocean. So there's a lot of things going on that they're mm -hmm. uh, researching there. Glad mm -hmm. they're doing it.